Atiku Abubakar visits Governor Fayos of Akiti to seek support for presidential ambition. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar is currently on a visit to Akiti State. He was received at the airport in Akur, Ondo State by Akiti State Governor, Ao Fayos and other PDP chieftains. Atiku who defected from APC to PDP in December last year, is scheduled to meet with selected members of the People's Democratic Party in Adu Akiti today. Meanwhile the Akiti state governor, Ayadili Fayos, has made some of the most far-reaching revelations yet about the years in office of former President Olusegun Obasanjo. This was made known to newsmen in a statement by Lear Alenka, special assistant to Governor Ayadili Fayos on public communication and new media. According to the statement, Governor Fayos said in the current edition of the interview that Obasanjo used him to wreck the presidential ambition of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the chance of former Kaduna State Governor, Ahmed Makarfi, becoming the People's Democratic Party PDP, presidential candidate in 2007. He said in his naivety, Obasanjo also used him to attack former Abia State Governor, Orji Kalu, among other political foes. Fayo said that the scale fell off his eyes when on a trip with former President Obasanjo to Tripoli, Libya, where Obasanjo had gone to ask Muammar Gaddafi to support his third-term bid, the former Libyan president treated Obasanjo like a serf. Recalling the encounter, he said, it was such a pathetic scenario, so shameful. Obasanjo was speaking rapidly like a parrot. I was shocked beyond words. I never knew Obasanjo would be that humble. He was on one knee till the end of the conversation. Gaddafi kept quiet and was just watching Obasanjo. When Obasanjo stopped rambling, Gaddafi said, Have you finished? Just know that I will not attend that meeting. I have other engagements. He also revealed how on two major occasions when he went to visit then Vice President Atiku Abubakar at the height of Mr. Obasanjo's third term bid, Security details promptly reported him to the former president, even before he left the venue, leaving him feeling spooky and vulnerable. On the Obasanjo Atiku saga, Governor Fayos said, Obasanjo told me that when you capture a general and you don't kill him, he'll come back and kill you, that since Atiku tried to stop him and failed, he must pay for it. And he, Atiku, is still paying for it? In a statement that could reverberate beyond Nigeria's shores, Governor Fayo said he knew, as an insider at the time, that Mr. Obasanjo betrayed former Liberian President, Charles Taylor to induce U.S. support for his third-term bid, after promising Mr. Taylor safe haven in Nigeria. He revealed how the current chairman of the PDP, Ahmed Makarfi, was sidelined in favor of a sick and stubbornly reluctant Umar Yadaradua and his role in it as chairman of the Presidential Selection Committee. Mr. Fayos warned Orji Kalu against selling the Igbo down the river for cheap politics and blamed President Muhammadu Buhari's government for making IPOB leader Namdi Kanu popular. He also spoke on his attempts to reach President Muhammadu Buhari directly, former Governor Kayad Fayami's relationship with APC leader Bola Tainyobu, and futile attempt to discourage former Governor Peter Odili from accepting Mr. Obasanjo's dummy that he was heir apparent.